Hey guys, welcome for progress update episode number three. I'm roughly about three weeks out, three to four weeks out, three and a half weeks out. All right, so getting close to my show. I've got the other one coming up fairly soon. My first one, my primer show, my tune-up show, but the San Antonio Pro Show that I'm really excited about is a little over three weeks away. So I wanna give you a quick update. So here's a couple things. Basically what I've been doing is I've been practicing my posing. The posing is one of the hardest things when it comes to doing these shows. Working out, dieting, doing the cardio, doing all of those things comes natural especially when you've been doing it for a long time but the posing man is very very difficult straining tough and that's what I'm doing now so I'm doing two different classifications as I've mentioned in the past so the men's physique that's where I'm wearing my board shorts so you'll see me here posing a little bit and I'm practicing I'm kind of going through the front poses the back poses when it comes to men's physique there's not a lot of poses front back that's pretty much it so I'm practicing that probably about 20 minutes a day. I should be doing more, but I'm doing about 20 minutes a day currently. The other where I'm wearing my black trunks. This is for the classic physique. That's more of a bodybuilding style. It's not full blown bodybuilding where you have to be massive, but you have a lot more quarter turns when you're practicing. So they wanna see the front. They wanna see both sides. They wanna see the back. Then you choose a front double by, a back double by. You choose your favorite side chest and a couple classic poses, front abdominal and thigh. So I've been practicing that as well so you I'm showing you a couple different practice clips with that so that's basically what I've been doing also I've been doing some crazy all-out full-body workouts all right trying to get some depletion going so you'll see some of the workouts I'm doing some of the exercises pushing myself challenging myself trying to get as lean as I can again for the first show I'm gonna be doing I'm not gonna be a hundred percent on point that's not the goal the goal is to just get on stage again get the butterflies out go through the motions see what the judges are looking for how they're moving us on and off stage because I'm gonna be on and off a lot two different classifications and because I'm competing in the open class as I won shows before I'm gonna be doing open and also masters because I'm an older dude man so I'm doing masters in open in both classifications so I'm gonna be on and off a lot so I just want to kind of go through the motions kind of fill it out see how everything is and uh, so super excited but workouts I'm working pretty intense but I basically cut out my compound movements nothing that can potentially injure me I'm too close dieted too hard work too hard to get right in front you know right at the show right at the finish line and then get injured so I've kind of mentioned that on the last video so that's kind of what I'm doing still I'm just doing a lot of more pump workouts I'm doing heavy but not with barbell stuff not with squatting not with deadlifting so I've substituted those out for more safer exercises so I've been doing a lot of that kind of stuff cardio I'm an hour a day man all right so I'm doing roughly 30 minutes early 30 minutes late and then I have my 30 minute workout so my workouts are only 30 minutes I work out intense but they're about 30 minutes so so it's an hour and a half a day that I'm spending on this. An hour of it is cardio. And cardio, I'm kind of changing a little bit. I'm doing some hit intervals on the rower, trying to hit that upper back intervals. I'm doing some treadmill work on an incline, just to bring those glute hamstring tie-ins together, work those calves. I'm doing that, and I'm also doing my recumbent bike, which is my favorite. I like the recumbent bike, put a lot of resistance into that, so it really blows those quads up, really burns a ton of calories. So that's my favorite source of cardio. And macros, here's the thing for you guys. A lot of people ask about what macros I've done leading up to this point. What got me from 16% to 8% now into the 6% range, 7%, right around 6.8, 6.9, something like that. So if that's something that you want, I've documented everything that I've done. All right, it's a lot to go over here, but here's all I'm asking you to do. Leave me a comment. Let me know you're following my journey and you want my cheat sheet. I will send you my cheat sheet, man. I've got my macro notes. I'll clean it up, put it on a PDF. That way you can kind of understand. It's a little bit more legible and I will send that to you. That way you can see exactly what I did to get to this point I've got my macros and my cardio there I didn't put my workouts on this form but I've got my macro notes as far as carbs that I've done protein that I've done fats that I've done up to this point my staple foods you know consistent with the type of foods I eat I'm not very elaborate I don't do the if it fits your macro stuff this close to a show you can do that when you're 20 weeks out 15 14 weeks out the closer you get the more strict you need to become and that's what I've been doing being a little bit more strict also mood man I mentioned last time, unfortunately, still irritable, have good moments, bad moments. Little things trigger me, and a lot of it has to do with just hormones. You know, hormones are out of whack. When you get this lean, 
you've dieted this long, you've deprived yourself of specific foods, then it's a lot more difficult mentally, a lot more challenging. Thankfully, I've got an amazing family. They understand and I feel like I'm apologizing to them every day and I hate that, but again, it's part of this process. A lot more irritable, very short, very quick. So I just wanted to tell you that. So yeah, testosterone levels, they are pretty much down, libido's down and that's not natural for me, but it's natural for competitors when they get this low. So when you get closer to a show, you start getting really lean, then that's one of the things that tends tends to go, okay? So going through all of that stuff, again, if you want that cheat sheet, just a reminder, leave me that comment, let me know, I'll give you the cheat sheet. Also, why do I do this? Why do bodybuilders do this? It's not for money. You don't get money. If you're a professional, then you can get a little bit of money. If you're a top professional, like one of the top two or three, you can get a little bit more money through endorsements and sponsorships and stuff like that. So that's not why people do this, man. It's about loving the process. It's about challenging yourself, pushing yourself, and it's an expensive sport. Just to give you an idea, when I used to compete back in the day, 17, 20 years ago, 17 years ago is when I did my last show, 21 years ago is when I did my first show from now. And basically I had two sponsors. They paid for everything, which is the main reason I did it. I was a, a poor dude raising babies, had three young kids, and I used my bodybuilding competitions for vacations. I couldn't afford vacations, but my sponsors were willing to pay for me to go places. And so that's how I paid for my family vacations when I was a lot younger and I had a two-year-old, four-year-old, six-year-old. That's how we were able to travel a little bit and do vacations. It's because my sponsors paid for my shows. Well, now I'm straight up solo, man. I pay for my own stuff. And here's what I'm talking about. One show, you gotta get there probably Thursday because weigh-in's Friday. Weigh-ins are Friday, the show's all day Saturday, so you don't wanna get there on Friday because you want to be rested and relaxed. So I get there Thursday. So you got Thursday, Friday, Saturday night hotel expenses. You've got the travel expenses. You've got the entry fees. All right, so every class that you enter, for instance, Masters 40 and over classic physique, 135 bucks, one class. Then I got Masters men's physique, I got classic physique, men's physique, another 135 bucks. Then I'm doing open in both, another 135 bucks. So you get the point. It's costing me between 800 and a thousand dollars just to compete in the show. That's just the fees, registration fees for the classifications. Then you've got the travel expense. So then you can see when you start adding that up, man, this is a really expensive sport. So you only do it if you really love it. You don't do it to get money. You're hoping to get trophies or medals or something like that. So you can have that for the rest of your life. A lot of guys, and I think it's top five, you may get 10 to 20 people in a group. Only the top five get rewarded, which is difficult because a lot of guys put in effort. A lot of guys work 20 you know, weeks for a show. They grind, they hustle, do everything they can. If they don't make top five, not only do they not get a trophy, they don't get that presentation up there, but most of these guys don't even get to do their routines. Practicing or getting a routine together, you're doing everything, trying to showcase your body. You may have family there. You're trying to show your body to your family, trying to show off your hard work to your family family and if you're not top five guess what you don't even get to show it so it can be very frustrating I, I understand some of these guys frustrations and it's hard man so again you really just have to love this you just have to understand going in that just be passionate about it love it if you don't love it don't do it if you feel frustrated leading up to the show don't do it no one's making people do this stuff all right you have to have a passion for it you have to want to do it because you just love it not because you think you know what I'm gonna do this I'm gonna get noticed I'm gonna get rich I'm gonna get that doesn't happen, unfortunately. It's just not part of the process, all right? So I just wanted to say that, but the other reason is proving yourself, like me physically, why I'm doing this. Physically, I'm getting in great shape, but it's more mental than anything else. At this stage of my life, 48 years old, 48 and a half now, but I'm a lot older, so I look for little mental challenges. And if you guys follow my journey, you follow any of my other platforms, you know I, I lost my father-in-law almost a year ago to this day. So that's what triggered some things, all right? It started making me realize life is short. So I'm the one year anniversary. I still kind of tossed it up, wasn't sure if I really wanted to do it or not. Then June 6th, I lost my baby Zoe, my seven-year-old boxer. Suddenly she was the love of my life. She was my joy, she was my happy man. If I was frustrated, had a bad day at work, I could look at my baby baby girl, take her for a walk, and instantly I was happy. But she got sick, three months later died, and that set everything else in motion. My mind was a wreck, it was a mess. I was lost, confused, hurt, mad, frustrated, didn't understand, and then I realized at that point, you know what, I need to put my focus somewhere else or I'm gonna drive myself insane. I was not happy, I was emotional, I was broken, and I put my focus on a show. I said, you know what, let me find a show to do, and let me do everything I can to put 
into that show and that's pretty much what I've done. And thankfully it's worked. It's helped me distract my mind. It's helped me keep all of that at bay and it's it's been great. It's been a great process. So again, that's why I started doing this. That's what made me commit to this journey in the first place is just needing to put my mind somewhere else on something else. And it's been phenomenal. It's been great. But man, I uh, hope you like this progress update. Got several more to come. I've got another one that's going to talk about the show that my first show, how it went. Another one that will document my Vegas trip in between the two shows, which just kind of got sprung up on me. I decided to do it last moment and I hope it doesn't sabotage my main show, but it is what it is. It's something I feel I need to do. I need to network with more fit pros. I need to get out there, meet more people and help grow my coaching business. So that's why I'm doing that. And then my last one will be the journey leading up to my main show that week of the peak week. And I'm also going to record some backstage stuff, what it's been like, you know, going through this whole process. And then I'll show you what results I get. I'll show you everything. So man, I appreciate each and every one of you for following this journey. Love all you guys, man, because I am a believer. I'm a Christ follower. So all of you to me are brothers and sisters in Christ. So it's just how I live my life. Whether you believe or not, I do believe on your behalf. But again, thanks so much again for following my journey. God bless you guys. And uh, let's go out and have some fun.